Morning traders, and this is your Aussie South African top 40 day trade setup for today. So yesterday the futures closeout happened, and as expected, we just ranged. And um, again, we still got uh, crappy data that comes through on GT24, so this tail is not really of any significance at all. Um, the red lines is the open and the close. Okay, so we've got a fairly long tail to the upside, and we've got a smallish body so this is a call it a pin bar or you can call it a, an inside bar um, in of the previous day so the previous red day that we have here but again remember the futures close out so price was adjusted as well so don't read too much into the price action you see here okay um, for now we're still at a fairly significant level clearly you can see the oscillators are good to the upside if I go to the monthly um, it gives you a little bit of a different picture that we have a fairly interesting, um, how do I put it, we're in a fairly position, a fairly interesting uh, area at the moment. So this monthly is a massive engulfing. I've got crossover on the moving averages pointing to the upside again. And um, from the stochastic point of view, there's still quite a way to go. So this could really well be the next leg to the upside but I would need to see a break above this level here which is 53840 53840 then this move here I would start looking at a second move to the upside okay and if you look very carefully you'll see inverse head and shoulders here as well okay so you probably see it a bit clearer on the weekly I would think here we go. So shoulder, head, shoulder. Okay, so lots of um, bullish sentiment uh, on the higher time frames, but uh, those aren't the ones that we're wanting to trade at the moment. So we're looking for the lower time frames. Now you can see we've got a grouping. We're not quite up in the, the cell area at the moment on the 3R, but we do have a grouping of stochastics here. Uh, we've got a bit of diversions here. We're at, um, we're not quite at a level, but we're in a, a zone of levels at the moment, which is quite telling. Okay, um, nothing really else we can see there. And on the one hour, you can see pretty much a range. I'm just going to use this here. So there's my range. Okay, you can see most of the day we gapped up and then we went straight into range and we stayed in the range. Nothing much has happened. Uh, what happened on the US markets, we had a pretty strong move to the downside and then it reversed off there and closed on its high. So the US markets closed up. I think the ones we need to pay attention to, NASDAQ was up 0.9%, S&P was up 0.9%, uh, Dow was up 0.9%. Uh, so. Uh, at the moment, 10 cents down 0.65%, and the Rand dollar is hovering at 14.32. Not much movement from yesterday. And I think the, the other thing to bear in mind is that uh, gold is breaking through some major levels, and uh, with us, with South Africa being a resource country, um, the miners are going to start uh, benefiting from that, although they really have. But I mean, um, if we do. Mm maintain the breakout on gold at the moment and any of the other resources start following suit, uh, I think we're going to have uh, quite a big rally on the mining sector. But anyway, time will tell on that. So for now, um, this is purely, this is a range. It's not something that I really can see anything in. You can see lots of tails to the upside, tails to the downside, barbed wire, indecision, and um, I'm going to treat it as such. So the reality for me is I am looking at the closing range breakout and that will be my my cue card okay now breaks the upside I'm gonna take with a pinch of salt because I just don't believe I think we need to have a bit of a deep deep pullback before we attempt to break through there again so I'm almost inclined to believe that we're gonna be moving to downside so we're looking for a break of 53100 and my target area is 
first target area is 52848, but my second target area will definitely be uh, 52754, and then my last one, which will be this breakout retest here, and will also sort of close this gap that's open. Okay, and that would be 52634. So 52634, uh, 52754, and then 52848. Those are my downside targets. Okay, um, and obviously to the upside, I'd be very cautious, but that would be my first target area if we break. So the breakout is 53350. And I'd be looking to take profit at 53600. Um, you may have an outside chance of 53840 being tagged if we have a, a fairly good rally. But looking at this, there's a lot of indecision here, so I'm not uh, entirely confident that uh, we're going to get a move either way. Okay. So I think a bit of advice is drop down to a lower time frame if you've got time today and try and trade that. You can see on the 12 minute we've had a reversal, we're pointing to the downside. So everything is is pointing towards a move to the downside. Okay, we've also got the 12 minute 200 moving averages right here in between the first two target areas. Anyway, so that, that's kind of my bias. Um, and I think you know, the trend is still up. Even if we do pull back down into this area, the trend is still up. So I'd still be looking for a, a long entry. But being Friday, I don't think, uh, I'm not really interested in, in putting any positions in today. Um, unless something really drastic happens. But I think I'd rather wait for next week now. Uh, it looks like the market's settling down. And we should start um, getting some structure that we can trade shortly. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's my view on the Aussie today. Really only looking to trade the closing range breakout. And if I don't get a trade on that, not the end of the world, I'll wait for next week. Anyway, enjoy the day, hope it helps, and I'll catch you later.